Hey guys, what's up? So, I had somebody bring me a laptop that was uh, <coughs> behaving kind of oddly. You know, it would power on and then power back off again. Um, is that crack, that thing? Um, so, it seemed like it was sort of like an overheating issue. And uh, let's see, I'm going to plug this in real quick. Power. Make sure that it's. I'm actually getting a, a battery charge here. I'm sure the bat. Okay, cool. I'm getting a battery ind indicator light, so that's a good sign. So I know I'm getting power from the AC adapter, but I will check the voltage if I'm not getting a good steady uh, voltage. But let me show you what really what happens here. So I don't think I can even zoom out any further with this. So I'll bring that up here real quick. All right. So let's power that on. So I'm powering this thing on. So what would happen is it would fire up. And then once it got into windows, it would just power off. And I've been listening for fans. I feel like I can hear the fan, but... See, boom, then it should shut off. Well, no, it came online. So let's see here. Yeah, it definitely seems like I can hear a fan in there, though, you know? So... Fan is definitely moving. But it's just behaving sort of oddly. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. That would be weird if it actually all of a sudden started working. <laughs> Let's see here. Alright, I'll I'll come back, I guess. Well, this thing might have fixed itself. I mean, I don't know. But that doesn't seem possible. I mean, not the fan got unstuck, but it was definitely a... Uh, okay, yeah, security risk, so... Alright, let's... Uh, Alright, I'll be back. See what's up. All right, guys. This thing just shut itself off on its own, even though it says it's powered on still. Um, if you hear that, fan is running consistently. This is not really a great laptop from AMD. Eight gig of RAM. It's like a 500 gig hard drive, but it was actually running for a while. Then it seemed like it overheated, but just it shut itself off, kind of like the screen went blank. So. Okay, so the, the fan just shut itself off. So, I'm going to verify. Uh, I'm going to take this thing apart and make sure the fan is okay. And the, I know they said they had blew, blow, uh, blew it out with an air compressor. So, um, sometimes what ha can happen is the heat sink can get lifted off the CPU. So I'm going to verify the thermal paste. But let me get this apart real quick. And we'll be back. So I'm going to all this stuff off of here, get all the screws off and on the edge and pop the cover off. Alright, we're back, get that going. Alright, just got the uh, little cover off here, it covers the hard drive. Um, I don't know if I have to take the hard drive out or not to get the back off, but I'm going to start taking the accessories out here. This should take the CD-ROM out of here. This one right there. I don't have a manual for this, so I'm just, I've done, I've done this so many millions of times that it's, I can just look at it and figure it out by now. So. All right. Um, I might take out the hard drive just in case. I don't see this. This is not even. It's not even bolted in. Okay, it's a. Uh, it's uh, yeah. Three gig a second. Uh, actually, it says somewhere at the size of it. Fifty-four hundred RPM. So it's obviously not very fast, but I don't know, it doesn't say, but it's, I think it's probably like 500 gig or so. All right. All right, I'll try to make this video shorter, because I know I make some pretty long videos sometimes. I over-explain. Um, all right, so I'm just going to ground the edge here and just take these screws off. 
So I'll be back. I'm going to get the screws off all the edge and get the thing separated. Actually, I didn't, I didn't even see this. There's actually a keyboard uh, Phillips right there. I don't know if there might, might be another one under the RAM slots, but let's see here. Okay, no, I just wanted to verify that there was no, uh, I'll just keep this out. There was nothing more than the keyboard here. So let's, I'm going to grab my magnetic tip screwdriver. I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to caught the screw. There's more than one keyboard screw. Let's look around for one. That's the wireless controller. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back and get my get the same part. Alright, so it was kind of difficult to get that thing, so I'm just going to crack this open like this. Be gentle. <sighs> Make sure I got my screws up. I'm going to go back there and just crack this all up. Or separate it. Because I really what I'll do is I want to look at the CPU. And I want to make sure that it's getting adequate cooling or it's all secure in there. So I'm going to get this cover off. This is different for every kind of laptop. So this is not... Alright. Just be gentle as I can. Alright. Okay, that's back here. So this laptop is a little kind of a little bitch. You have to uh, you have to get the keyboard off to get these other screws off that are inside there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a... I mean, if, this, if I break this laptop, it's not, <laughs> not the end of the world. So there's screws on the, in, under there to get the thing off there, so I, I can bend back the keyboard. It's not a big deal. But I just gotta get down there and pry in there. Dap around, kind of jacking up a little bit more up. All right, I got it. It's hard for me to do this on camera, so at least at that angle so we can see it. All right, guys. I'll be back when I get the keyboard off. All right, back here. All this just to get the CPU off. So, yeah, I used to, I used to pry it and kind of get down to it. I gotta bend this back straight, but I'll make it all flat and straight when I get down. It'll, it'll flatten itself out once I get. Now in there, I'm a little dirty in here. Gotta take this uh, thing off here. A little keyboard off. All right, so this is a bitch just to get the CPU. So I'm gonna take these screws. Just gotta keep on finding screws and get them off. So look at all this. So I got it. So now that I have all the screws off. Ah, there we go. Okay, I lost another one. Okay, so yeah, I did pull those out. So, just got to make sure I put those back on carefully. Because I'm guessing that one is the mouse. Yeah, that's the mouse right there. And that's uh, the on and off button. So, um, okay. Alright, it's kind of dusty in there. Let's take a look at this thing. The speaker that came out right there. This is the CPU fan, it's not stuck. Okay, that's the processor right there. Alright, I'm gonna take my air compressor and blow all this stuff out. And look for any obstructions, air obstructions. It looks like we're fine over here. Oh. And I'll be back. Dropping my coffee. Right, now that I've blown out all the dust, um, yeah, this is actually kind of a pain in the ass laptop. Uh, I gotta lift this motherboard. That's actually the processor's under here or here. So I got a couple more screws to lift this up the motherboard up. So yeah, what a pain in the ass. Alright, cool. Alright guys, I literally had to take this whole thing, every part out of here. This is was actually more difficult than a normal laptop to take apart here, but as you can see that's a CPU heatsink. Uh, I'm looking for any Logs in here. I don't see any, but I'm gonna blow it out again. Um, this, this actually, this little heat sink right here, which I don't know if you can see it, my finger. Um, this I need to put some more thermal paste on. 
Um, so I am going to take this off. I don't know what exactly. Uh, actually, I know this is like an AMD processor. Be really careful. As careful as I can. I'm going to put some new thermal paste in here, and I'm going to pull this off and just totally thoroughly blow it out. I try to keep these sections with their screws in, in area, the same area. So, all right, that's the processor, guys. And that's a heat sink. I don't see any obvious signs of obstruction in here. So, it seems like we have thermal paste in there. So, I mean, don't know. All right, I'm gonna get some thermal paste on there, blow everything out, and see what happens. So I have some Arcus for paste. I don't, I don't know if I might clean up the old paste. Might as well. Use as much as I can here. I, like I said, I don't know if this is the problem, but it seems like it's overheating, so. Try that. And I'm going to do the same for this right here. This is the, uh, I'm assuming this is like the, this is the chip, the video chipset slash controller chipset. I know AMD now is like, making chipsets with like a lot of different components built on the chip. Um, right. a bit more in there. Alright, put this back together and see what happens. Cool. So I'm just going to put it back in reverse order, you know. And then before I put it completely back together, I'm going to hook up a probably an external keyboard and mouse. Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll just fire it up and we'll see. Tightening down the CPU screws. Okay. All set. Alright. Awesome. Alright guys, I decided to take a risk and just put the whole thing back together just because um, some of the screws in this case, they keep the motherboard against the, the chipset heat, heat sink. Not the CPU, but the chipset. It requires those screws to keep it tight against that heat sink. So, that's why I'm not going to fire it up without that because I don't want to burn up the chipset. So, all right, all right, guys, back here, and I think I'm running out of memory here. My memory card here. So I'm gonna put that back on and I'm gonna fire it up and see what happens. All right, guys, I would say that's a successful repair. I'm gonna do some Windows updates here. It's been going for a few minutes. Uh, guess we'll keep an eye on it, but I'm gonna do some updates here real quick. And sometimes what happens is the thermal paste. Some, I mean, I've had it with a thermal paste that loses a uh, kind of it becomes more like dry and brittle and no longer conducts heat very well. So sometimes just replacing the thermal paste is uh, all you gotta do. So hopefully this helps somebody. But yeah, I mean, I've fixed thousands of laptops. So, all right, guys, thank you.